It's unfortunate how Northwest has been on the internet ever since she was born. Not only are there accusations surrounding her, Kim exploiting her, but there are also discussions about North being in the social eye at a young age for a specific reason. It's just crazy to me how this family went downhill ever since the truth started coming out about them. And for some reason, Northwest is making tons of headlines right now and a lot of people are concerned about the lifestyle that her mother is forcing on her daughters. So without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and address the disturbing life of Northwest. And you know, with all the videos being made about Northwest lately, I feel like a lot of people try to avoid the topic of North being in the spotlight ever since she was a child. I mean, it's understandable that people might think that the attention that North receives on social media comes naturally since her mother is literally Kim Kardashian. But what some of y'all don't know is that North has been bullied, harassed, and even made fun of on the internet from the moment she's been born. And this is all caused by her mom, Kim. In case y'all didn't already know, North North is the third oldest of all the Kardashian kids, following Mason and Penelope, who are Kourtney Kardashian's kids. But for some reason, Mason and Penelope didn't gain the traction that North received after she was born, since the news about Kim having a child was such a big topic back in the day. If we're being 100% real, Kim was probably the only member of the Kardashians who kept the family relevant at that time. And for that, the attention towards North was pretty heavy, especially after Kim and Kanye announced that their daughter's full name would be Northwest. This was the start of the controversy about the Kardashians coming up with weird names for their kids because shortly after Kim made headlines about naming her daughter North, the entire Kardashian and Jenner family began coming up with unusual names for their newborn babies such as Saint, Chicago, Stormy, Airy, Psalm, and more. So as you can probably say that North was the first newborn to bring attention to the Kardashian family even after Kim and her sisters had multiple kids later on. So the question is, why was North the only child in the Kardashian family who was the center of attention? Well, if we get really deep into the issue, I don't think we will ever find a real answer behind it. However, in my opinion, I would say the majority of the Kardashian members kept their children away from the spotlight, such as Kourtney Kardashian with her children Mason and Penelope. But the moment North was born, you guys, she has been put in front of the media to get talked about and addressed since it benefited both Kim and Kanye at that time. It's the same issue that is going on right now with Kylie and her daughter Stormy because why does a five-year-old child have tons of fans? pages on Instagram. I don't know about y'all, but this is some weird behavior coming from the parents' sides, whether they were famous or not. And in case you're asking about the results of these kids being exposed to the internet at a young age, well, we've seen North getting bullied hundreds of times on social media just for being a kid. I mean, do y'all remember when this video of North singing went viral after her dad invited her on stage to sing? Cool, cute, cool, yeah! This video, you guys, became a huge meme on social media after tons of people started making memes about North singing to straight up bully her for being annoying. Other than this, you guys, we've also seen videos of North being annoyed with paparazzi following her everywhere, and you can see these videos how confused she was about the paparazzi after she asked them why they were waiting for her outside all the time and whether they were homeless or not. Check this out. Hey, <laughs> because you're so famous, we love you. Why? Why you guys always take a picture? Here are also old videos of North screaming at the paparazzi for taking pictures of her. Oh, sorry, North. Sorry, North. Sorry, North. Sorry, North. Sorry, North. Sorry, she says no pictures. No. I mean, this is so heartbreaking, especially with how her mother was getting called out multiple times in the past for calling paparazzi on herself intentionally. But unfortunately, you guys, this situation didn't end here because a couple of months ago, a video of North went viral where she was seen shushing fans and paparazzi to stop screaming while she was only trying to shop with her mother at a mall. There's also a video of North holding a stop sign pointed at the paparazzi at a fashion show. And of course, we can't forget about this video that went viral of North screaming leave to the paparazzi after they were seen following her mother in public. Please, please! Do not talk to me about that. Sorry, Kim. 
Because I could literally go on and on and on with videos of North being annoyed by paparazzi. But what's weird about all of this, you guys, is that people were literally comparing North's attitude toward the paparazzi to her father, Kanye. If you didn't know, Kanye has a history of beefing with the paparazzi, smashing their phones and cameras, and even hiding from them. Unlike his ex-wife, Kim, who thrives off of paparazzi. And for that, you guys, a lot of people started finding similarities between his attitude to his daughter and how his North could also be dealing with bipolar disorder just like her dad. Hence why she reacts the same way once she gets seen by some paparazzi. Take a look at some of these comments. So, like, we all know that Kanye for sure passed that bipolar gene onto North, right? This will sound bad, but I think out of all of the kids, North is going to be bipolar just like Kanye. She's already so much like her father, it wouldn't surprise me if in 15 plus years she's making headlines like Kanye for erratic behavior. I think North will be bipolar like Kanye. It's crazy calling an actual child bipolar just for reacting the same way as her dad about the paparazzi invading her privacy. I mean, do people really forget that Kim is responsible for her children's behavior and safety on the internet? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it took people years to understand the truth about Kim putting her children through all of this just for attention. And we've recently seen that with her daughter North posting inappropriate videos on TikTok after Kim got called out for exploiting North by letting her post such a thing from her very own account. It's reasonable why people would react to such a thing because North has been exposed to the internet ever since she was born. And we all know that the internet is not a safe space for children and even teenagers in general. Although you would think the TikTok situation going on would somehow stop Kim from letting her daughter be in the public eye for a while. However, they were recently seen leaving a sports academy after North began yelling at the paparazzi for blinding her with lights while pretending to be crying by pouring water on her face. Oh my God. Of course, this video gained a lot of attention on social media to the point where news articles began reporting how North was allegedly having a meltdown and how her mother Kim was trying to comfort her inside the car when she was only wiping the water she spilled on her face. This situation, you guys, made a lot of people believe news articles and clickbait videos. And for that, a lot of people started attacking Kim for calling the paparazzi on herself while her daughter was having a meltdown because of it. And of course, this topic sparked a huge conversation on the internet about how Kim threw arrives off of attention and how she purposefully left with her daughter through the main exit instead of the private one, just like other celebs to avoid paparazzi. Here's what people had to say about the situation. North, just tell your mom to stop calling them out. Simple. Fun fact, that building has a minimum four different exits. If that doesn't tell you Kim voluntarily puts fame over her own child's safety and well-being, I don't know what else will. Kim is enjoying what's causing harm to her child who's crying for help. It's sickening. Kim will never use the private entrance. She's trying so hard to keep relevant. Do you guys think that Kim is trying to revive the status of the Kardashian family by keeping her daughter relevant at a young age? I would love to hear your opinions on this situation down below, but also don't forget to click on the tab above for more videos on these celebrities.